So I am got this saw uh, about two months ago. Um, I've sawed probably 800 pounds of aluminum up so far. And I don't know, 4,000 parts, 5,000 parts. So I guess I've got enough experience on it to at least do a bit of a review video. One that I wish I had been able to find before I bought the saw, but all in all, I like it. Um, first parts, I guess, uh, noth when I got it, nothing was, um, nothing was adjusted correctly. Not much really in alignment. Can't think of anything was in alignment. Um, so you've got to go through, and pretty much manual says you should do all this stuff before you use it anyway. So go through and set all your proximity sensors, blade tracking, all that. Um, my on my saw, the um, the feed cylinder was not parallel with the table. So when the table was coming up close to the machine, it would bind up. So I had to... Um, it's hidden right now, but there's the bracket that holds the feed sensor. There's two bolts on both sides that holds that bracket. So all I had to do is loosen those four bolts, uh, move the table around, tighten them back up, and that did the trick for that. Um, one other thing, I guess, the adjusting nuts seem to wander. This one especially seems to wander, so I got a split nut from McMaster Carr, but the the threaded rod is undersized to the point that the split nut really won't grab it, plus the split nut isn't big enough diameter to reach the proximity sensor. So the split nut by itself won't do the trick, but tightened up as much as it goes pretty much, it at least works as a lock nut against the adjusting nut, the main one. Um, the threaded rod is, I'll put it in the description. I'm pretty sure from memory it is a 12 by 3 mil. It's 3 millimeter pitch. I think it's 12. Yeah, it's 12. That measures 11.3, I think. So 12 by 3, Acme. Um, da -da 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 -da. So after that, what I did do to get it into my little, here. There's where it came through, that doorway. So to get it through the doorway, I had to pull it, the feed table off. Um, to do that, there's three bolts here that holds it to the saw frame. And then there's the two proximity sensors you have to remove. And then pretty much just the um, push to connect tubes that go into the feed cylinder. And then the feed table comes off. And then after you do that, it's it easily comes through a... You could probably get it through a 20-inch door if you had to. That's one reason I got this saw is because I just don't have room for a bigger one. And having it 110 volt, 15 amp service made life a lot easier. Um, what else? Yeah, it's been so long since I've messed with things, I forget now. Anyway... Um, all in all, I like it. Uh, it's really simple to use. I was halfway done cutting up some bars last night. I shut all the power off, came back this morning, turned the power on, and it knew where it was. So just start it back up and finish the job, which is nice. Um, very user-friendly. Uh, la 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 la. That's about it. Um... Which is a little more horsepower, but it's not. So I've paused it at the end of a stop or a cycle. So to recover, just press start and off she goes. Um. This is not the stock blade, this is a 462 Starrett. So it's a little better suited for these thick parts I cut. So I've got eight 3 8 inch thick by 3 inch wide aluminum bars, 6061. 
This job, I'm cutting up 500 pounds, 506 pounds of it into about 1,400 parts. Um, it's pretty much holding plus or minus five, but it wanders a little bit, and I'm thinking it's real sensitive to air pressure. And my shop, all my machines are Japanese, so shop air is 60 PSI, and this thing wants 90. And I've got my compressor shut where it doesn't kick on to 80 PSI. Uh, I'm probably going to have to bump that up a bit. Still, I'm still playing with it. I'm still learning. Um, I've got the speed on the feed cylinder about as low as I can go, trying to keep from being jerky, trying to get the most accuracy out of it. Um, I guess the last part I cut on the bars was about 10,000 longer than the first cut on the full 12 footers. So the extra weight made a little bit of a difference, but it didn't, didn't get long until um, the last couple of cuts. But all in all, it's pretty, um, pretty consistent. Um, very easy to use. You know, you set how many parts you want, you press the green button. If you decide you want more or less, just change it on the go. If you want it to pause while you're, um, to measure parts or something, just press the pause button. Goes into pause mode, and when it's done with the cut, it just stops, cuts the blade off. But it still keeps the vices locked if you stick it in pause mode, so. There we go. To start it back up, just press cycle start. I've got it adjusted where it's the cut vertically, it's pretty much dead on, and um, horizontally, it's off by about 10,000. So I got that close, and I decided to quit playing with it. The base is a little small, so it likes to leave a little bit of cooling on. Um, I've got some hokey plastic on there to try and keep the things from the uh, bearings, the blade guides from spinning and spitting and cooling everywhere, or that um, brush. Yeah, I guess my well, well mentioned. I've got some of the guards pulled off of it too, just since I've been playing with it. I took the main guard off the blade um, feed cable, so when I took it off, ah, I'm gonna pause it again. One thing I will say, um, Tormach does tell you to be real gentle with. The feed table because uh, to be honest you can see where they machined out the flat spot for the feed table but there's no extra cast iron so it gets pretty thin there so it is 
a fragile area. There's only about an eighth inch of cast iron there for the bolts to engage. So definitely take them up on that part of, be real careful with it. It's not real robust. got an irritating amount of drop on the blade and it bounces a bit so you've got to have it a little extra high but you know it runs untended so just slow it down a little bit don't worry about how long it takes um, I guess over here this little knob on the top here is how you set the feed rate so I guess I can go a little faster. Not too bad. Basically cutting a three inch square chunk of aluminum. Beats the hell out of how I used to do it on a top saw for wood. I guess the last thing I'd say is get extra fuses. I blew a fuse real fast just trying to speed it up a little bit. So, and they're a 10 by 38 millimeter. None locally to me that I found, so I had to get them from Tormac. Anyway, hopefully that helps.